Here comes the money. Here we go. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Got a dollar. Got a dollar. Ching, ching, king, ching. Cut the chatter. You ain't talking money, then you're talking don't matter. Hello, everyone. Sorry, it's uh, been a very... I've been reliving my love of WWE this week. And we'll get into why in a moment. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the PearPod, your one-stop shop for all things pop. This doesn't make sense. Mm, Jurgen Klopp. Rhymes. How are we all doing, folks? I apologize that we are coming t- uh, uh, 24 hours later than usual. I was visited by my father, the man from which I was created, and also my brother Max. Uh, those of you who know Max and my father will know why I'm a little slower today. But there's no time for slowness, because we have a lot of things to discuss. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't get a pod done yesterday. Yes, quite slow, lots of activities. Um, for those of you who watch the... Uh, For those of you who are watching on YouTube, first of all, subscribe and like the video. Thank you very much. Thank you to all my audio listeners. I see you all out there. Some listeners in Norway, uh, which I'm excited about because I don't know anyone in Norway, so you can't be a friend of mine, which means you might have actually found this podcast organically. Excuse me, I'm having a sip of liquid. So if you're watching this on YouTube, at the end of this podcast i will have a little little bit of a vlog sequence of uh when we went off-roading well, off-roading uh we went on like a buggy tour up the mountains up on montagna and uh it was good crack so i took some footage of that uh so that will be at the end of this episode if you make it if you're listening on audio hey come on over after the PearPod youtube channel it's a pretty great place you know, we're a small community, uh, <coughs> but we're uh, born mighty. Um, so yeah, we have a couple of things to discuss this week, but just off the bat, man, I, I'd be remiss. First of all, does anyone have a fire stick? And I'm not talking about the thing between your legs. That was horrendous. Sorry to anyone who's... That was poor. Anyway, uh, fire stick is like Amazon's version of like Apple, uh, like a Apple TV shit like that. Um, but I actually got like you can do a bit of a a bit of sorcery and a bit of backhandery, a bit of backhand tapping, and you can get like Sky for, for like for sixty quid, like all their channels and shit. And so we did that, and what we actually ended up getting as well was uh, like the UFC pay per view or like uh, Sky Sports and BT pay per views. And um, so I managed to watch uh, some of the UFC this weekend, and really the only like obviously a load of great fights, but the the one I was most people were most interested in was uh, Gilbert Burns versus Hamza Chimaev. Everybody, everybody, I smash everybody, bro. brother, brother, smash brother, smash brother. And uh, Jesus, man, it didn't. I, I, I had Hamza to win. Uh, the only reason my fucking parlay didn't go through was because Aljamain Sterling, I fucking beat Peter Yan, which I'm all right with. Go for you, Peter, or go for you, Aljamain Peter's a. Tough motherfucker. But uh, Aljo got it done. I didn't think he would. But uh, also, like, thoughts on this top. It's from Pennies. Sorry, audio-only listeners. But the uh, uh, the Pennies here in Spain did a, a thing with the NBA, which means I can get a ton of jerseys for very little money, which is important for me because uh, I'm just still waiting for the old pair pod to start monetizing. Uh, but Hamza Chemaev, uh goes all the way with fucking Gilbert Burns, which no one... Uh, no one saw it coming. And, well, like, I, I, to be honest, I didn't. And fuck, man. Yeah, I saw someone say that no one lost that fight, even though uh, Hamza won because, you know, Gilbert Burns' stock definitely doesn't go down as a result of that. He uh, he was fucking just so good, man. They went back and forth. He fucking clipped Hamza, dropped Hamza, Hamza dropped him. Back and forth either way, but... um. Yeah, for Hamza, that was obviously a huge step up. Like, I don't think anyone else that he'd fought. I, 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 the leech was ranked, I think. But, like, 
in the top 15, but like Gilbert Burns, number two in the world. And uh, to get it done against him is a fucking huge step up. So I saw something that said that uh, at the same, at Osman at Hamzat's age, he was still on the ultimate fighter. So Hamzat's fighting Gilbert Burns at that age. So take of that what you will. But a uh, very impressive man. And now they're talking Hamzad and Colby. <clears throat> I see Colby talk that shit. Like, it'll be fucking class shit talk. But, uh, fuck man, Hamzad's nasty, like. I'd like to see Colby get his fucking head kicked in. So we'll see if that goes down. Hopefully it will. Um, also, the... Uh, the, the Masters was on this weekend. I'm not huge. I don't like give a huge shit about golf. We played golf this weekend when my, my pops and my bro were over in um, a golf course here in Marbella. And it was good. Had to go in. Essentially had to fucking cut off a limb and harvest my organs to be able to afford to play there. Uh, it's just just, uh, just a racket. Like, do you know what I mean? But people are so rich there that it just doesn't matter. But I was like, you're, you're stealing money. Like, uh, fucking carts and then the lads didn't have gloves and there's clubs and his hats and it's fucking yeah we should have been more prepared as well but it's just like it's a crazy amount of money to play golf beautiful course though I played class uh, definitely uh, gonna try and do I might do an episode I'd love to do some a little golf episode or a little vlog on the golf course cause uh, fuck it man the crack when it's sunny is just it's a different buzz altogether when it's sunny versus like playing in Ireland when it's Ixtalabarshti, which is pissing rain in Irish, or Asquelga. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the golf is enjoyable, but the uh, the Masters man was fucking sick, and Rory McIlroy out of nowhere just like has the round of his life. I think it was the best round. Uh, I think it was the best round, the best final round in the the history of, of the Masters. So like, fucking outrageous like you know do it for the other fucking four days but uh the the commentary man in, in the uh in the masters is so funny they bring they bring on like music will come on little violins and then you'll hear welcome back to the masters beautiful day here in Augusta Tiger has just found himself just on the edge of the fairway now what he's going to want to do is just Drop it just in front of the green and hope to catch it on the second bounce. Beautiful. Beautiful course. Alan, how, how have you been feeling this morning? Absolutely beautiful to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, as you said, Tiger's looking rather, rather frail this morning. A few issues with his lower back, but nonetheless, getting on with it. Beautiful crowd here today. Excellent to see so many out. I seem to have spilled some iced tea on my denim shorts. Apologies. Ah, yes. There we go now. I've removed them entirely. Could you put your trousers back on, James? Anyway, uh, the... The commentary and like the whole production of it, it like I, I, I used to think I'd never be able to get through an episode of the Masters or like watch the whole day of it. But when you when you when you when you have a few shekels, first of all when you have a few, a few shekels on the uh, on the match or on the on a few players, it helps a lot. And uh, it, you could just sit there for hours and just listen to the the pleasant voices, the pleasant voices, and the crisp crack as the metal of the club meets the face of the ball. Beautiful. So yeah, um, didn't make any money. Well, Shane Larry, I won six euro on Shane Larry uh, because he came fucking third. And I put that on a horse this morning called uh, the, 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 the Galloping Camel, I think. He's 26 to one. He's, he may have won. I don't know if he did. Great, we're all going to Sizzler. If you didn't, no sizzler. No sizzle, no crack. Okay. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
so the the main topic of discussion today was um, people who watched it, who watched WrestleMania. But oh look, no one watches fucking professional wrestling. It's a bit shit. No, it is shit. It's scripted fucking bullshit for kids and like men who are. I yeah, the guys who go there like fully, who are fully grown, who have kids or who don't, who aren't with kids. And we're like, oh my God, Mr. Kennedy, what are you doing at Money in the Bank? You're like, what? You're like, or, or they hear, <laughs> when, when, if you could take a step back and you're outside of it, you're like, you're going, you're going nuts because you hear, oh my God, it's the animal Batista. Oh my God. And, um, but what they've kind of done now, and like fair fucks, Vince McMahon, you're 190. And then the WrestleMania, he takes his kid off and starts wrestling. He's in better nick than me. I know that's not impressive. Oh, not hard to do. But the guy's 95 years old. And uh, he, he had Pat McAfee. Who people, Pat McAfee is a, and he was an NFL punter and now he's like a huge uh, punter, not like a bloke from Dublin, but like punters and like he kicked in an NFL team. But he, uh, he has like a huge t- talk show now, just like sports show and all that shit. And he was on, he wrestled uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, who's fucking there, like with, with no knees. Hey, retire. And when you're retired, stay there. I got one bear. Yeah. Two bears. Yeah. Three bears. Um, but he did, uh, he, he did a couple of sloppy, uh, like it just, the, the, the reason the reason I was I was chatting about it is because obviously Logan Paul was on it and re- wrestled the Mysterios, and uh, like obviously I'm uh, to say I'm a fan of Logan Paul is fair. I I don't think everything he does is great, but I can appreciate the difficulty that the what he did at WrestleMania was from from what I've heard from like podcasts that he's done. He was like I had about four hours total to like practice those moves and choreograph the match and stuff like that and know what was happening so the fact that he pulled off the the three amigos which is like three triple suplexes no no three suplexes three triple suplexes would be nine suplexes same two suplexes too much um it's three suplexes back to back he also went off the top rope did a fucking frog splash um like played the heel like got the crowd going and stuff had a pop had a good outfit shit like that and the fact that he could just kind of jump in, he, what what I admire is the versatility. Uh, the fact that he can go, he can box Floyd Mayweather, jump in, do like vlogs and shit, be the biggest with that, do a podcast, be the biggest with that. Uh, and he's like, oh, I'll do I'll do WrestleMania. Yeah, top rope, yeah, yep, top rope, yeah, yeah, fly off it, and. Um, you're able to just jump in and do that. And let, let's be, uh, like, it could have been shit. And, like, you could have forgot stuff. And, like, if you don't, if, if it's not smooth, you get booed out of there and you're an embarrassment. Do you know what I mean? And everyone's like, everyone, and, like, they would have been like, you four hours of practice, you need to give the thing more respect. That would have happened. And everyone would have been like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. So for it, for, like, genuine wrestler or, like, wrestling fans to be like, he's unreal, that's fucking unbelievable. That's impressive. Um, And he... Like, like, there's other. I'm trying to think because there's there's guys like Pam McAfee went on did some crazy shit as well, and he's much more of a. He's not like a, like you look. I was doing like this. He did the splits over one guy. Do you know what I mean? How you can't be doing that shit? And uh, but yeah, man, the fucking the wrestling game. I'm sure there's cool bread in it as well. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure they have a. They're they're look they're fucking well looked after for it. So could be a little move from go in do that make a fucking bank he said that he'd be interested in doing that so we will uh, we'll see what happens but it's uh, it's fucking remarkable man I was I was politely politely also non-politely correct or uh, impressed I wonder if uh, yeah I wonder if that would turn you off fucking doing boxing after man because the the repercord like the the one boxing takes your it, like it, it takes your whole life I'm sure like 
people like wrestling takes your whole life as well like people who are in it my name's Finley and I love to fight um, I'm sure like yeah, the wrestling the, the schedule and stuff is really demanding but like boxing you can proper like die and do serious see like I'm about to say you do serious damage to yourself did you not see that guy who uh, flipped got, got flipped Biggie who's 900 pounds or whatever tried to get suplexed out, outside not in the ring he was out on the, the fucking ground suplexed him flipped caught his neck under himself and like flipped it back broke his neck should be dead not dead though and he's like that's for the craft and I'm like man you're fucking crazy if I saw something like that I'd be like I'm never getting in there and doing shit like that kill myself I'll end up fucking severing my oh my back my fucking back if you watch this, there's there's a compilations on YouTube of like the moment wrestling or WWE like injuries happen and it's like <laughs> it's like Jeff Hardy's like yeah, well, um, yeah, I, I cracked, uh, I punctured my lung and uh, cracked all, like cracked five ribs or something. I was like, yes, because you swanton bombed off the, the fucking big screen at Dallas Cowboys Stadium. You jumped from 60 feet and did your... Oh man, the fucking swanton bombs, man. I remember, I remember watching the shit and be like, what? There was a few... Do you remember, does anyone remember when fucking... Uh, Undertaker threw your man off the cage, just ran him off the edge. Uh, Mick Foley, yeah, yeah, Mick Foley, and he had a like. You're watching the back, you're like, "There's no, you can't, you can't, you can fake that too." Like, you can't fake it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you can probably put some padding in the in the the desk and shit, but like, he's fallen off it, and he kind of runs him off. It's gas, man. But like, you don't get that fall right. Like, you're you're brown bread. You're feeling every inch of that fall. Don't make no mistake about it. Like, so it's man. And then you'd like, do you remember? The great Kali. And like, this guy just strolls in, seven seven foot tall. The great Kali versus John Cena in a Punjabi prison match. On fire. With guns. I'm a, there was. I'm pretty sure it was a. Like it was called a Punjabi prison match when they had to break through each stage of the cage in order to like get to victory and they'd smash each other they'd like what is thinking of this shit gas man I like uh, it's it, it. you need to keep getting the 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 big fellas man like you, the, the best dudes is the fucking the big show well well it's a big show we went as a WWE wrestlers one summer, or, or one Halloween, one summer. It'd be weird. Our whole, uh, our whole group went as wrestlers. So it was obviously um, time to play the game, as Triple H. You know, physique-wise, it made sense. Character-wise, it made sense. Dominant leader, power. You know, aggressor. You know, people look to me for dominance. Uh, but then, like, I mean, one, one of my mates, Andy, was so funny. Like, it was all supposed to be a bit of a joke. Like, it's all, you know, you know those lads in your group, it's all supposed to be funny. And, like, ah, look, we'll all look a bit stupid together. You know, go on, we'll all be, we'll all be tits together and sure, like, maybe we'll get a, we'll get a sympathy, like, a, a, a sympathy laugh out of it. I don't know, maybe someone, will, maybe a girl will feel, feel me over, over my jeans. Uh, but then, like, I, I'm a, a fucking, yeah. Fucking Andy comes out. He went as The Rock. Yeah. Which, like, in reality, you gotta pick a fucking out of shape dude to do The Rock because, yeah, a fake tan Andy up and you, you, you put him in, you know, swim shorts and a pair of boots. It's lambs to the slaughter. The girls don't know what to do. And I'm sitting there in my DX gear with Ian. Degeneration X. Oh, fucking. Who are you supposed to be? Triple H? Oh. You don't look anything like him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I should have gone as Gold Dust. 
That that way is far more my character. Like I'd be much more yeah. Like I'm going for gasps. I'm not going for love. I'm going for. I want people to be terrified when I slither into the running. So, yeah, I should have gone as gold dust in hindsight. Lessons learned. Man, I like the right. I'm trying to think of some of the. No way out. Hell in the cell. Uh, Summer slam. Uh, fucking the elimination chamber tables ladders and chairs hey guys can we find some more shit to put these guys through like are you listen to, there's there oh man if you there's a there is a clip of a uh, Shane McMahon I think wrestles fucking Kurt Angle or someone on a bro yeah maybe it's Kurt Angle or Brock Lesnar or something I think it was Kurt Angle tries to like suplex him through a pane of glass flips him he hits the glass Kurt Angle hits the glass falls and onto and like it doesn't break hits the, the cement on his head I was like man this is clearly isn't going like it's clearly not going right and the amount of fucking damage you must do to yourself for the love of sport you better be paid, getting paid out the game man that's all I'll say that's all I'll say so what do I have going on this week I'll wrap up. I have. Oh. Sorry. I have uh, some editing to finish. Then we go home next week for a wedding. So I'm back in Dublin next week uh, for five or six days. And then we're back. And then we move, man. Move house. And we're out of the. Uh, we're out of our. Our, uh, our little apartment in the sky and we're moving on to greener pastures and by that I mean you know slightly nicer apartment with a little outdoor area which we like so uh, the the podcast uh, setup will look a little different I still have to figure that all out man and where I'm gonna where I'm gonna set up and stuff like that but the consistency will remain the same I just need to uh find out where we're going to be living in terms of this space uh, I need to find new, there's actually a nice white armchair that I think I'm going to transition into after uh, this chair has been nice it's a good height I like it it's comfortable but it's uh, I, I do I do I like something to do with my arms occasionally it's uh, I've quite slouched so that'll be enjoyable uh, I may put a little tour of the new house on a, the end of a pod which I might start doing I just put at the end of pods just little clips little clippy clips of, of random video bits that we get um, but other than that I would say I would ask you all to go and follow uh, the Pair Pods Instagram page uh, the place does get I'm, I'm bombarding it with clips man I'm clipping the shit out of it and I'm getting stuff up there uh, and the clips aren't you know uh, like cuts from this episode they're like my short takes on these long the, and then the like short takes on topics and then the full podcast here is like the expanded version of those those thoughts which is nice so I hope you all have a really productive week it's a uh, fuck man it's slower after a few points good god it's crazy it's just it, like we, I remember like when we when we drink when we were younger when I was younger like, I, 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 like, shoulder six cans. I don't know if people remember that. Shoulder six cans used to be, like, the standard. I'll have a shoulder of vodka, which would be, like, I don't know what that is, what that is mil-wise. 300 mils or 3 330 mil, maybe. The bigger naggins, you know what I mean? They can't barely get them in the back pocket. I'd have one of those, and I'd have six cans of, like... Maybe, oh, sorry, that belongs is really me bad. Apologies. I'd have six cans of maybe, like, a... Like, oh... Maybe six Heinemites, you know, six Heinemite. Uh, usually be rougher than that. I'm trying to think what beers we got into for a while. Like, obviously, Dutchy and all that rotten shit. But then I had a Coors phase. Coors phase, for sure. I had a Miller phase. Then we used to move to bottles, and then it was just bottles all the way. Beer from a bottle is just better. But yeah, man, shoulder six cans. And I do that and go, man, I used to go to work on a Saturday in Fat Face in Dundrum. 
I'd be so hungover. I can't believe it that I go and do eight hours, nine hour shifts and be smiles. And like, I'd just be, and the night before I'd be like, ah, oh, yeah, be grand. I'm in at an eight, eight tomorrow. Then, so I just get home by four and, you know, get four hours sleep. Now, if I don't get, uh, if, if I don't get to sleep before 12, if I don't get eight hours sleep, I'm, you know, I'm dead to the world, let alone if there's fucking alcohol involved. So it's the price of making memories, my friends. Uh, but just shows like when you're when you're on the session a good bit, you can kind of your body is uh, you more used to it, man, and can hence like the hangovers are just like, I guess it's because I'm feeling better, like day to day and not being hungover. That when it hangover hits, I'm like, oh. So yeah, that. See now we've got the fucking I've got the wedding next week. I'm going to be drinking at that as well. Well, this is the game. This is the dance. This is the dance. Well, look, lads, thank you very much for listening. Uh, at the end of this part is going to be a little bit of clippy, a little clippy clip. Uh, so if you're, or video clip, so if you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I really do. This part is for you. Thank you very much. And for the visuals, the visual, the visual crew, uh, enjoy the, some clips of the boogieing. Um, I didn't drive as I didn't have uh, enough funds. To, or we didn't justify a hundred euro per buggy. I was like, look, I'll jump in with big. He's gonna be fucking scary as shit on it, and he drives very uh, dangerous because the dangerously is the only word I can use because anything else would be underselling it. And um, there was uh, hopefully the the shots can short, but there was a jagged edge where Max would like to wheel spin and if the buggy does fall down there it's not like haha that's fun. it's dead it's goodbye you're dead so that's why um, you may hear me exclaim uh, rather high pitched in a few of those moments but a uh, sick experience all the same I'll add little picks in and stuff as well thank you all for listening my name is Sam Myers. this has been the Pear Pod don't stop believing. Fuck it. Trying to make me go to rehab. I'm saying no, no, no. Yes, I've been back, but when I come back, you no, no, no. I ain't got the time. And if my daddy thinks I'm fine, they try to make me go to back. We can do a jump. There's a jump to do. Max, been I'm Max, tr- Max, Max, Max. I'm Max, Max. not in trouble. Don't worry. He is in trouble. Got green. Got green. That's what it was like. Can we do donuts? It's hard to make me go to rehab, but I'm sitting low, low, low. Yes, I'm in the back, but when I come back, you know, no, no. I ain't got the time, and then my daddy thinks I'm fine. Just trying to make me go to rehab, I'm a fool. I don't know.